Barack Hussein Obama II born August 4, 1961 is an American politician and attorney who served as the 44th President of the United States from 2009 to 2017. A member of the Democratic Party, he was the first African American President of the United States. He previously served as a U.S. Senator from Illinois from 2005 to 2008 and an Illinois State Senator from 1997 to 2004. Obama was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. After graduating from Columbia University in 1983, he worked as a community organizer in Chicago. In 1988, he enrolled in Harvard Law School, where he was the first black person to head the Harvard Law Review. After graduating, he became a civil rights attorney and an academic, teaching constitutional law at the University of Chicago Law School from 1992 to 2004. Turning to elective politics, he represented the 13th District from 1997 until 2004 in the Illinois Senate, when he ran for the U.S. Senate. Obama received national attention in 2004 with his March Senate primary win, his well-received July Democratic National Convention keynote address, and his landslide November election to the Senate. In 2008, he was nominated for president a year after his presidential campaign began, and after close primary campaigns against Hillary Clinton. Obama was elected over Republican John McCain and was inaugurated on January 20, 2009. Nine months later, he was named the 2009 Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Obama signed many landmark bills into law during his first two years in office. The main reforms that were passed include the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act, and the Don't Ask, Don't Tell Repeal Act of 2010. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 and tax relief, unemployment insurance reauthorization, and Job Creation Act of 2010 served as economic stimulus amidst the Great Recession. After a lengthy debate over the national debt limit, he signed the Budget Control and the American Taxpayer Relief Acts. In foreign policy, he increased U.S. troop levels in Afghanistan, reduced nuclear weapons with the United States-Russia New START Treaty, and ended military involvement in the Iraq War. He ordered military involvement in Libya, contributing to the overthrow of Muammar Gaddafi. He also ordered the military operations that resulted in the deaths of Osama bin Laden and suspected Yemeni al-Qaeda operative Anwar al-Awlaki. After winning re-election by defeating Republican opponent Mitt Romney, Obama was sworn in for a second term in 2013. During this term, he promoted inclusion for LGBT Americans. His administration filed briefs that urged the Supreme Court to strike down same-sex marriage bans as unconstitutional. Same-sex marriage was legalized nationwide in 2015 after the court ruled so in Obergefell. He advocated for gun control in response to the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, indicating support for a ban on assault weapons, and issued wide-ranging executive actions concerning global warming and immigration. In foreign policy, he ordered military intervention in Iraq in response to gains made by ISIL after the 2011 withdrawal from Iraq, continued the process of ending U.S. combat operations in Afghanistan in 2016, promoted discussions that led to the 2015 Paris Agreement on Global Climate Change, initiated sanctions against Russia following the invasion in Ukraine and again 
again after Russian interference in the 2016 United States elections, brokered a nuclear deal with Iran, and normalized U.S. relations with Cuba. Obama nominated three justices to the Supreme Court, Sonia Sotomayor and Elena Kagan were confirmed as justices, while Merrick Garland faced unprecedented partisan obstruction and was ultimately not confirmed. During his term in office, America's reputation abroad significantly improved. Obama's presidency has generally been regarded favorably, and evaluations of his presidency among historians, political scientists, and the general public place him among the upper tier of American presidents. Obama left office and retired in January 2017 but continues to reside in Washington, D.C. Obama was born on August 4, 1961, at Kapi'olani Medical Center for Women and Children in Honolulu, Hawaii. He is the only president born outside the contiguous 48 states. He was born to an American mother of European descent and an African father. His mother, Ann Dunham, was born in Wichita, Kansas. She was mostly of English descent, with some German, Irish, Scottish, Swiss, and Welsh ancestry. His father, Barack Obama Sr., was a married Luo Kenyan from Niangoma Kogelo. Obama's parents met in 1960 in a Russian language class at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, where his father was a foreign student on a scholarship. The couple married in Wailuku, Hawaii, on February 2, 1961, six months before Obama was born. In late August 1961, a few weeks after he was born, Barack and his mother moved to the University of Washington in Seattle, where they lived for a year. During that time, the elder Obama completed his undergraduate degree in economics in Hawaii, graduating in June 1962. He left to attend graduate school on a scholarship at Harvard University, where he earned an M.A. in economics. Obama's parents divorced in March 1964. Obama Sr. returned to Kenya in 1964, where he married for a third time and worked for the Kenyan government as the senior economic analyst in the Ministry of Finance. He visited his son in Hawaii only once, at Christmas 1971, before he was killed in an automobile accident in 1982, when Obama was 21 years old. Recalling his early childhood, Obama said, that my father looked nothing like the people around me, that he was black as pitch, my mother white as milk, barely registered in my mind. He described his struggles as a young adult to reconcile social perceptions of his multiracial heritage. In 1963, Dunham met Lolo Sotero at the University of Hawaii, he was an Indonesian East-West Center graduate student in geography. The couple married on Molokai on March 15, 1965. After two one-year extensions of his J-1 visa, Lolo returned to Indonesia in 1966. His wife and stepson followed 16 months later in 1967. The family initially lived in the Menteng Dalam neighborhood in the Tibet sub-district of South Jakarta. From 1970, they lived in a wealthier neighborhood in the Menteng sub-district of central Jakarta. Obama started in St. Francis pre-education from age 3 to 5. From age 6 to 10, he then attended local Indonesian language schools, Sekola Dasar Katolik Santo Franciscus Assisi for two years and Sekola Dasar Negri Menteng 01 for one and a half years, supplemented by English language Calvert School homeschooling by his mother. As a result of those four years in Jakarta, he was able to speak Indonesian fluently as a child. 
During his time in Indonesia, Obama's stepfather taught him to be resilient and gave him a pretty hard-headed assessment of how the world works. In 1971, Obama returned to Honolulu to live with his maternal grandparents, Madeline and Stanley Dunham. He attended Punahou School, a private college preparatory school, with the aid of a scholarship from fifth grade until he graduated from high school in 1979. In his youth, Obama went by the nickname, Barry. Obama lived with his mother and half-sister, Maya Sotero, in Hawaii for three years from 1972 to 1975 while his mother was a graduate student in anthropology at the University of Hawaii. Obama chose to stay in Hawaii with his grandparents for high school at Punahou when his mother and half-sister returned to Indonesia in 1975 so his mother could begin anthropology field work. His mother spent most of the next two decades in Indonesia, divorcing Lolo in 1980 and earning a Ph.D. degree in 1992, before dying in 1995 in Hawaii following unsuccessful treatment for ovarian and uterine cancer. Obama later reflected on his years in Honolulu and wrote, The opportunity that Hawaii offered, to experience a variety of cultures in a climate of mutual respect, became an integral part of my world view, and a basis for the values that I hold most dear. Obama has also written and talked about using alcohol, marijuana, and cocaine during his teenage years to push questions of who I was out of my mind. Obama was also a member of the Chum Gang, a self-named group of friends who spent time together and occasionally smoked marijuana. After graduating from high school in 1979, Obama moved to Los Angeles to attend Occidental College on a full scholarship. In February 1981, Obama made his first public speech, calling for Occidental to participate in the disinvestment from South Africa in response to that nation's policy of apartheid. In mid-1981, Obama traveled to Indonesia to visit his mother and half-sister Maya, and visited the families of college friends in Pakistan and India for three weeks. Later in 1981, he transferred as a junior to Columbia University in New York City, where he majored in political science with a specialty in international relations and in English literature and lived off campus on West 109th Street. He graduated with a B.A. degree in 1983 and worked for about a year at the Business International Corporation, where he was a financial researcher and writer, then as a project coordinator for the New York Public Interest Research Group on the City College of New York campus for three months in 1985. In a 2006 interview, Obama highlighted the diversity of his extended family, it's like a little mini United Nations, he said. I've got relatives who look like Bernie Mac, and I've got relatives who look like Margaret Thatcher. Obama has a half-sister with whom he was raised and seven other half-siblings from his Kenyan father's family, six of them living. Obama's mother was survived by her Kansas-born mother, Madeline Dunham, until her death on November 2, 2008, two days before his election to the presidency. Obama also has roots in Ireland, he met with his Irish cousins in Moneagall in May 2011. In Dreams from My Father, Obama ties his mother's family history to possible Native American ancestors and distant relatives of Jefferson Davis, President of the Confederate States of America during the American Civil War. He also shares distant ancestors in common with George W. Bush and Dick Cheney, among others. Obama is a supporter of the Chicago White Sox, and he threw out the first pitch at the 2005 ALCS when he was still a senator.
In 2009, he threw out the ceremonial first pitch at the All-Star Game while wearing a White Sox jacket. He is also primarily a Chicago Bears football fan in the NFL, but in his childhood and adolescence was a fan of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and rooted for them ahead of their victory in Super Bowl XLIII 12 days after he took office as president. In 2011, Obama invited the 1985 Chicago Bears to the White House. The team had not visited the White House after their Super Bowl win in 1986 due to the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. He plays basketball, a sport he participated in as a member of his high school's varsity team, and he is left-handed. Obama lived with anthropologist Sheila Miyoshi Yeager while he was a community organizer in Chicago in the 1980s. He proposed to her twice, but both Yeager and her parents turned him down. The relationship was not made public until May 2017, several months after his presidency had ended. In June 1989, Obama met Michelle Robinson when he was employed as a summer associate at the Chicago law firm of Sidley Austin. Robinson was assigned for three months as Obama's advisor at the firm, and she joined him at several group social functions but declined his initial requests to date. They began dating later that summer, became engaged in 1991, and were married on October 3, 1992. After suffering a miscarriage, Michelle underwent in vitro fertilization to conceive their children. The couple's first daughter, Malia Ann, was born in 1998, followed by a second daughter, Natasha, in 2001. The Obama daughters attended the University of Chicago Laboratory Schools. When they moved to Washington, D.C., in January 2009, the girls started at the Sidwell Friends School. The Obamas have two Portuguese water dogs, the first, a male named Bo, was a gift from Senator Ted Kennedy. In 2013, Bo was joined by Sonny, a female. In 2005, the family applied the proceeds of a book deal and moved from a Hyde Park, Chicago condominium to a $1.6 million house in neighboring Kenwood, Chicago. The purchase of an adjacent lot, and sale of part of it to Obama by the wife of developer, campaign donor and friend Tony Resco, attracted media attention because of Resco's subsequent indictment and conviction on political corruption charges that were unrelated to Obama. In December 2007, Money magazine estimated Obama's net worth at $1.3 million. Their 2009 tax return showed a household income of $5.5 million, up from about $4.2 million in 2007 and $1.6 million in 2005, mostly from sales of his books. On his 2010 income of $1.7 million, he gave 14% to nonprofit organizations, including $131,000 to Fisher House Foundation, a charity assisting wounded veterans' families, allowing them to reside near where the veteran is receiving medical treatments. Per his 2012 financial disclosure, Obama may be worth as much as $10 million. In early 2010, Michelle spoke about her husband's smoking habit and said Barack had quit smoking. On his 55th birthday, August 4, 2016, Obama penned an essay in Glamour, in which he described how his daughters and the presidency have made him a feminist. Obama is a Protestant Christian whose religious views developed in his adult life. He wrote in The Audacity of Hope that he was not raised in a religious household. He described his mother, raised by non-religious parents, as being detached from religion, yet in many ways the most spiritually awakened person. 
I have ever known, and a lonely witness for secular humanism. He described his father as a confirmed atheist by the time his parents met, and his stepfather as a man who saw religion as not particularly useful. Obama explained how, through working with black churches as a community organizer while in his twenties, he came to understand the power of the African-American religious tradition to spur social change. In January 2008, Obama told Christianity Today, I am a Christian, and I am a devout Christian. I believe in the redemptive death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I believe that faith gives me a path to be cleansed of sin and have eternal life. On September 27, 2010, Obama released a statement commenting on his religious views saying, I'm a Christian by choice. My family didn't, frankly, they weren't folks who went to church every week. And my mother was one of the most spiritual people I knew, but she didn't raise me in the church. So I came to my Christian faith later in life, and it was because the precepts of Jesus Christ spoke to me in terms of the kind of life that I would want to lead, being my brother's and sister's keeper, treating others as they would treat me. Obama met Trinity United Church of Christ Pastor Jeremiah Wright in October 1987 and became a member of Trinity in 1992. During Obama's first presidential campaign in May 2008, he resigned from Trinity after some of Wright's statements were criticized. Since moving to Washington, D.C., in 2009, the Obama family has attended several Protestant churches, including Shiloh Baptist Church and St. John's Episcopal Church, as well as Evergreen Chapel at Camp David, but the members of the family do not attend church on a regular basis. Cultural and Political Image Obama's family history, upbringing, and Ivy League education differ markedly from those of African-American politicians who launched their careers in the 1960s through participation in the civil rights movement. Expressing puzzlement over questions about whether he is black enough, Obama told an August 2007 meeting of the National Association of Black Journalists that we're still locked in this notion that if you appeal to white folks then there must be something wrong. Obama acknowledged his youthful image in an October 2007 campaign speech, saying, I wouldn't be here if, time and again, the torch had not been passed to a new generation. Obama is frequently referred to as an exceptional orator. During his pre-inauguration transition period and continuing into his presidency, Obama delivered a series of weekly internet video addresses. In his speeches as president, Obama did not make more overt references to race relations than his predecessors, but according to one study, he implemented stronger policy action on behalf of African Americans than any president since the Nixon era. According to the Gallup organization, Obama began his presidency with a 68% approval rating before gradually declining for the rest of the year, and eventually bottoming out at 41% in August 2010, a trend similar to Ronald Reagan's and Bill Clinton's first years in office. He experienced a small poll bounce shortly after the death of Osama bin Laden on May 2, 2011. This bounce lasted until around June 2011, when his approval numbers dropped back to where they were previously. His approval ratings rebounded around the same time as his re-election in 2012, with polls showing an average job approval of 52% shortly after his second inauguration. Despite approval ratings dropping to 39% in late 2013 due to the ACA rollout, they climbed to 50% in January 2015 according to Gallup. Polls showed strong support for Obama in other countries both before and during his presidency. 
In a February 2009 poll conducted in Western Europe and the U.S. by Harris Interactive for France 24 and the International Herald Tribune, Obama was rated as the most respected world leader, as well as the most powerful. In a similar poll conducted by Harris in May 2009, Obama was rated as the most popular world leader, as well as the one figure most people would pin their hopes on for pulling the world out of the economic downturn. Obama won Best Spoken Word Album Grammy Awards for abridged audiobook versions of Dreams from My Father in February 2006 and for The Audacity of Hope in February 2008. His concession speech after the New Hampshire primary was set to music by independent artists as the music video Yes We Can, which was viewed 10 million times on YouTube in its first month and received a Daytime Emmy Award. In December 2008 and in 2012, Time magazine named Obama as its Person of the Year. The 2008 awarding was for his historic candidacy and election, which Time described as the steady march of seemingly impossible accomplishments. On May 25, 2011, Obama became the first President of the United States to address both houses of the UK Parliament in Westminster Hall, London. This was only the fifth occurrence since the start of the 20th century of a head of states being extended this invitation, following Charles de Gaulle in 1960, Nelson Mandela in 1996, Queen Elizabeth II in 2002 and Pope Benedict XVI in 2010. On October 9, 2009, the Norwegian Nobel Committee announced that Obama had won the 2009 Nobel Peace Prize for his extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between peoples. Obama accepted this award in Oslo, Norway on December 10, 2009, with deep gratitude and great humility. The award drew a mixture of praise and criticism from world leaders and media figures. Obama's Peace Prize was called a stunning surprise by the New York Times. He became the fourth U.S. president to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize and the third to become a Nobel laureate while in office. Obama's Nobel Prize has been viewed skeptically in subsequent years, especially after the director of the Nobel Institute, Gare Lundestad, said Obama's Peace Prize did not have the desired effect. Legacy Obama's most significant legacy is generally considered to be the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, provisions of which went into effect from 2010 to 2020. Many attempts by Senate Republicans to repeal the PPACA, including a skinny repeal, have thus far failed. Together with the Health Care and Education Reconciliation Act amendment, it represents the U.S. health care system's most significant regulatory overhaul and expansion of coverage since the passage of Medicare and Medicaid in 1965. Many commentators credit Obama with averting a threatened depression and pulling the economy back from the Great Recession. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Obama administration created 11.3 million jobs from the month after his first inauguration to the end of his term. In 2010, Obama signed into effect the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act. Passed as a response to the financial crisis of 2007-08, it brought the most significant changes to financial regulation in the United States since the regulatory reform that followed the Great Depression under Democratic President Franklin D. Roosevelt. In 2009, Obama signed into law the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2010, which contained in it the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd, Jr. 
Hate Crimes Prevention Act, the first addition to existing federal hate crime law in the United States since Democratic President Bill Clinton signed into law the Church Arson Prevention Act of 1996. The Matthew Shepard and James Byrd, Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act expanded existing federal hate crime laws in the United States to apply to crimes motivated by a victim's actual or perceived gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability, and dropped the prerequisite that the victim be engaging in a federally protected activity. As President, Obama advanced LGBT rights. In 2010, he signed the Don't Ask, Don't Tell Repeal Act, which brought an end to Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy in the U.S. Armed Forces that banned open service from LGB people. The law went into effect the following year. In 2016, his administration brought an end to the ban on transgender people serving openly in the U.S. Armed Forces. A Gallup poll, taken in the final days of Obama's term, showed that 68% of Americans believed the U.S. had made progress in the situation for gays and lesbians during Obama's eight years in office. Obama substantially escalated the use of drone strikes against suspected militants and terrorists associated with Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. In 2016, the last year of his presidency, the U.S. dropped 26,171 bombs on seven different countries. Obama left about 8,400 U.S. troops in Afghanistan, 5,262 in Iraq, 503 in Syria, 133 in Pakistan, 106 in Somalia, 7 in Yemen, and 2 in Libya at the end of his presidency. According to Pew Research Center and United States Bureau of Justice Statistics, from December 31, 2009, to December 31, 2015, inmates sentenced in U.S. federal custody declined by 5%. This is the largest decline in sentenced inmates in U.S. federal custody since Democratic President Jimmy Carter. By contrast, the federal prison population increased significantly under Presidents Ronald Reagan, George H. W. Bush, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush. Obama left office in January 2017 with a 60% approval rating. A 2018 survey of historians by the American Political Science Association ranked Obama the eighth greatest American president. Obama gained 10 spots from the same survey in 2015 from the Brookings Institution that ranked Obama the 18th greatest American president.